The Phil T1 Lite are the latest set of true wireless earbuds coming from our friends over at Phil. And in this video, I'm gonna be going over the differences between these and the other latest model that they have, the Phil T1 Pro. Now, if you're interested in checking out any of these earbuds, I'm gonna leave links to all of them right down in the description box right down below. Now, before we go any further, and for full disclosure, because I like having transparency and honesty with my viewers, all of the earbuds in this video were purchased by me with my own money for testing and review purposes. If you have any questions or concerns about the way that I receive or review any of these products, check out the disclosure that I'm gonna leave in the video description as well. Now, if you're also interested in the call quality of all of these earbuds, stay to the very end of this video, that's where you'll find that. Now, the Phil T1 Lite, what kind of product is it and where does it fit in along with the other models from Phil? So the Phil T1 Lite is gonna give you a lot of the latest updates and advances that they've made with the Phil T1 XS and the T1 Pro, but it's gonna bring them to you at a much lower price and it's gonna cut out a lot of the extra features. So more of a bare bones version of a T1 Pro. So first up, let's talk about the connection. So these are running Bluetooth 5.2 and they're using SBC and AAC as their connection codex. As far as range is concerned, I got right around 37 feet or right around 11 meters. Now, as far as video latency or lag, whether watching videos or playing games, it's already minimal to almost non-existent, but they do have a gaming mode available in the app. So if you're looking for that kind of functionality, it is there, but more on the app in just a sec. And then last but not least, they also still feature dual connect, so you can use these earbuds individually while the other one is charging in its case. So next up, let's talk about the battery life. So they were claiming seven hours on a single charge with an additional 32 hours in the case. In my own testing, I managed to pull seven hours and 22 minutes at 75% volume on a single charge. So overall, very good battery performance out of these earbuds. And they also still maintain their fast charge feature where you can put these earbuds back into the case for five minutes and that'll give you an additional hour worth of playback time. As far as charging, they are using USB type C. Unfortunately, we do not have any Qi wireless charging on these earbuds. And that's gonna take us over to the comfort and the build. So as far as comfort goes, these are the same size as the T1 Pro. So it is a smaller earbud, highly, highly comfortable. One of the main things that you're gonna notice about these immediately from looking at them is the lack of the wing tip that you normally find with the T1X, the T1XS and the T1 Pro. That gives them a little bit more stability and it makes them much more stable inside my larger ears. With these, it is not included. So, so far it has not been an issue for me. They haven't fallen out of my ears, not a single time but in case it might give you a looser fit I don't know so the only way to really find out if these are going to work for you is to try them for yourself but overall so far comfort has been very very good for me personally as far as the case itself, the case itself is pretty much identical to what you got with the T1 Pro or the T1 XS, except this one is done in what feels like a much more flimsier and cheaper plastic. It's still USB Type-C for charging, as I said before, and it just comes in this plain matte black finish. So, I mean, it's very simple, it's very subdued, it's very straightforward, but it definitely feels like a cheaper version. This is definitely where one of the corners was cut with these earbuds is gonna be in the case, and you can feel it in the materials and the build of that. And then as far as the controls are concerned, you're still gonna get the standard fill touch control, where normally and initially, you're only gonna have access to play and pause or answer and end phone calls with a double tap. In order to unlock the full controls of these earbuds, you are going to have to download the Fill Plus app. Now, as far as the American version of the Fill Plus app, the T1 Lite are still not supported. But if you do buy these, there's always a QR code in the instruction manual that'll allow you to download the Chinese version of this app for Android. And that'll give you the opportunity to go ahead and unlock what they refer to as either God mode or full control mode. And then that's gonna give you full access to all of the controls. So on the right side, you're gonna have track control, play pause, skip track. And on the left side, you're gonna have your volume down, volume up and play and pause. So you do have those options. Options. But like I said, you do have to unlock that via the app. Should you have to do that? Of course not. But for whatever reason, Phil is not just giving us full controls right out of the box. This is something that I have messaged them about and hopefully, hopefully at some point, they will just release their products with full controls enabled. I don't, I don't understand why they wouldn't just do that from the beginning. 
So next, that's gonna take us over to talking about the app. So the Phil Plus app, I've spoken about this app on numerous occasions in numerous videos. Now, normally you can find this app in the Apple App Store and in the Google Play Store, but to be compatible with either the Phil T1 Pro or the Phil T1 Lite, you're going to have to use the Chinese version of this app. They're the only ones that are getting the latest updates for these latest models. In order to get this app, just like I said before, you have to look into the instruction manual and that's where you'll find a QR code that'll let you download this app. Once you do, this is gonna be a bit more basic version. It's gonna give you the standard battery levels. And then when you move over to the next screen, it's gonna give you a very basic three preset EQ. So you're gonna have a base preset, the normal preset, and then like a treble boosted preset. But there's not gonna be any of the additional presets and there's also not gonna be any graphic EQ or any DSP tuning. So there's not gonna be any of that going on with the app. One of the other things that they will allow on the next page is gonna be accessing full controls, like I said before, and there's also gonna be access to the low latency or gaming mode. So that's gonna be the other toggle that you will find there. But as far as functionality of the app, that's pretty much all of it for right now. So now let's talk about the volume and then we'll move on to the sound quality. So as far as volume is concerned, these are still getting very loud. Same as the T1 XS, same as the T1 Pro, high volume with these earbuds. If I had to give them a rating, it'd be either an eight and a half out of 10 or a nine out of 10. Very, very strong as far as the volume is concerned. And then as far as the sound quality is concerned, you're getting that classic fill tuning, that classic fill sound. So a nice punch in the bass, some really smooth mids, and some nice treble clarity along with that sound stage that is still very surprising out of a set of true wireless earbuds, especially one at such a low price. Even the Phil T1 Lite, these at their price are punching far higher than anyone should ever expect. The sound quality that we're getting out of these is much better than a lot of the competition on the market. So it makes them an easy recommendation. There's a reason why there's so many of us audio channel reviewers that when we talk about the Phil T1X, we're all basically gushing about them. Why? Why are we doing that? That's because the quality is there. That sound quality, that's the sound that we're looking for. We want the bass, but we want the treble too. And we want some soundstage. So these, along with all of the other Phil earbuds, they're definitely punching way, way above their price point. And that's a win for all of us. Now, as far as a comparison is concerned, so with the T1 Lite, basically here's the main differences. No ANC, no ambient sound. Also, no Qi wireless charging and no ear wings for stability. And then in the app, it's like I said before, it's a much more base version of the app. So you have no graphic EQ, you have no DSP. So overall, it's a much more slimmed down version of them, but they didn't skimp on the connection. They didn't skimp on the sound quality and they did not skimp on the volume. So that's really what we're looking for. Now, if I had to rank all of the Phil earbuds, T1 Pro, T1 XS, uh, T1 Lite, and T1X, here's how it's gonna go. Overall, my top choice of all of them, which I think is still the best value, it's going to be the Phil T1 XS. Number two, the Phil T1 Pro. Number three is gonna be the Phil T1 Lite. And number four, the Phil T1X. Now, just to be completely clear, because some people think that whatever's number one is the only choice and all the rest don't matter, that's not how this works. You pick up any of these Phil earbuds and you're winning. All of them are exceptional. All of them are punching far higher than anyone ever expected on the sound quality scale. So any of them is gonna be an excellent choice. So what it's gonna come down to is availability, right? So the Phil T1X and the T1XS are easily accessible for my US-based viewers on Amazon. You can easily get those, not gonna be an issue there. As far as T1 Pro and T1 Lite, you can get them on AliExpress, but no, no idea whether or not they're ever going to be available on Amazon. So it is what it is. But here's the thing, if you need that active noise cancellation, I mean, the T1 Pro, they're definitely worth ordering, but don't order them just for the ANC. As I said before, that's the ANC is just kind of okay, but if that's not really that important to you, the T1 XS, that's really the way that you want to roll. All right, so last but not least, we finally made it to the call quality test. So I'm going to go ahead and play the call quality samples for the Phil T1 Lite, and, you know, as usual, it's going to be up to you guys to decide whether or not that's good enough for you. All right, so here we have the call quality test for the Phil T1 Lite. So testing, testing, one, two, three. As you can hear, we are making this phone call indoors in a semi-quiet environment. So now let's add a little bit of crowd noise. 
So here we have the Bill T1 Lite with some simulated crowd noise. It could sound like we're in a crowded cafe, restaurant, something of that nature. Testing, testing. One, two, three. As always, you're going to have to be the judge of the call quality down in the comment section. Peace.